Karate Tech comments, the intro music is effing annoying. Is it? Hello everybody, this is Theron, and we are in the 1.12 pre-6 snapshot, hence all the parrots. And they get stuck in boats, and they just kind of get stuck there. Uh, since this is the 6th pre-release, I have a feeling that this means that Minecraft 1.12 will be coming out very shortly. Uh, so, I don't... Uh, I need to test a couple things. Well, one thing actually. And if I go into my reverse, oops, reverse F5 mode here and do this, it's super painful, but sorry, buddy. Okay. So I still haven't fixed that bug. Not that I expected them to. It does not seem to be high priority. The fact that you can shoot creatures behind you, it's kind of dumb. But let me heal up my friend. There we go. Okay. Don't know when uh, 1.12 is going to come out, but it'll probably be soon. Like, maybe next week. Maybe this week. Who knows? So we will see. And I'll go uh, update the bug that I logged on that particular issue. And we will do that. So let me do that. And let's head over to the Minecraft land party world. So here we are back on Minecraft land party server and I'm going up to the gold farm because I did some work and I want to top off my tools before we proceed with anything somebody's been up here there's some experienced balls laying around but so 1.12 is coming and I have to figure out uh, how we're going to when we're going to do the update because we're running the spigots over here and we're doing that for a few reasons, not the least of which is the entity uh, gathering or entity clumping, or I don't know what, I don't remember what the, the server calls it. But when I go and uh, punch one of these guys here, I, oops, oh, it would help if you could shoot. There we go. And they make an awful racket, but and then they'll jump down and all their experience orbs will gather up into larger experience orbs, which is great from a server performance standpoint. Uh, and it prevents lag issues. Now, okay, there's still plenty of guys here. We've been having some weird, uh, weird spawn rate issues. Uh, and Spigot allows me to adjust those individually. And if you're hearing crackling in, in the right channel, I apologize. I, I, I had done everything to try and fix it. I think it's my mixer. Uh, so I may just need to buy another mixer, which I'm not keen to do because I also need to buy a new computer. The keyboard on my on my computer has on my laptop has stopped functioning properly. Um, but it's a uh, it's going to be an expensive thing to replace. So, and then. And since we're like right at a refresh cycle, by the time you see this, Apple will probably have announced uh, refreshed uh, MacBook Pro options. And I have I'm, I use a MacBook Air, which I got about five years ago because it was it's light and easy and and easy to carry around. But it's it was underpowered at the time that I got it, but it was sufficient for most of what I was doing. And then I started doing this, which taxes the uh the poor guy a little bit more than it really should and um <clears throat> and so i really need i need a better computer uh, i'm not particularly eager to switch off of the mac since i need a i need a new laptop and that's going to be a mac because uh, i use it for lots of things not just playing minecraft so and i'm not terribly eager to get a separate windows computer because a i hate windows um and, and it's it's a horrible horrible operating system and there's no good reason to use it ever and especially since i don't play lots of other games that are super demanding on gpus i don't need like 
super fancy high-end you know nvidia 1080 gpu in my in my computer um but i do want the ability potentially at some point in the future to add an external gpu which it looks like is in the realm of possibility with the new macbook pros um, and the only reason i would really want to do that is primarily to do a video editing uh, or video rendering for other things not just playing video games because let's face it minecraft looks like minecraft and sure putting a, a fast powerful gpu in it will give me higher frame rates but who cares the game is designed to kind of look like crap so it's kind of a minor minor thing uh oh good that is repaired let's get some more of this it's mostly wanting to repair the elytra oh there goes tool number one and let's do this so anyway uh but the refresh even though apple is likely to announce new versions of the macbook pros this this week i think i think it's the uh, wwdc uh is going to be this this week i think i think the keynote will be this week uh they may announce the new the new models which will have more ram which i'm very excited about because i've been stuck with a four gigabyte computer for a long time which is which kind of sucks um it means i can't even think about doing any kind of modded minecraft that's a real problem and although the MacBook Pros are available currently with 16 gigs, uh, apparently the new processors that they're going to be putting in the refresh models will allow up to 32 gigs, which is very exciting. Again, not just for this, also for some other other things uh, that I do. So I'm very excited about that. Sorry about the telephone in the background. It'll ring a few times and stop. So um i did something here what is that mob heads yes the uh the gold farm now gives off mob heads which is kind of funny um it's the zoom is uh more mob heads uh loot tables custom loot tables they did for hermitcraft i put them on the server it's a lot of fun so I, I think it's funny and it's uh basically i don't mind tweaking things like this because uh frankly the the process that they put into the game to get uh, like creeper heads oh and i'm sorry i'm a little add today once this gets up to where 22 or 41 then it'll start filtering down below um so the drop rate the drop is a little rare so it'll get to a point once i get that filled up then we will get to the point where they start coming into here and then periodically you'll be able to get one out of the gold farm which i think is kind of cool the the process that they put in for collecting mob heads in the game uh by getting an, a charged creeper to blow up that mob it's a pain in the butt and uh, charged creepers are exceptionally rare so uh, unless you build a gargantuan thing like cub fans uh, charged creeper farm which is super cool but it's so huge and it's it's such low yield that it's uh it's almost almost not worth it so i figured no big deal and azuma left out the creepers and skeletons and zombies from the loot tables but i actually went in and started putting those back in so i've got loot tables that emulate the creeper and and skeleton uh, loot tables and <clears throat> uh, and then also add their their head drop because it's a relatively easy thing to do and that way we we have them for decorative purposes um because the heads were not even all that terribly useful anyway, right? I mean, you can put them in fireworks. You can put them on your head. Ooh. 
Uh, yeah, so we're in Vex's castle here, and he did something, and I need to find it. He built a, a fireworks station, which is kind of cool. Or no, this is a brewing stand, and then he built a fireworks station as well. Hi, horsey. And let's go back upstairs. So uh, he has a fireworks set up outside, which is pretty slick. As you as you approach the castle, it, it shoots off fireworks. Um, and we're not out here, which is uh, just pretty cool. So he built a little system that allows him to uh, effectively craft large quantities of fireworks with different effects and colors and whatnot, which is great. Throne room. Other side of the castle, maybe. And I'm stalling for time. Uh, but one thing that you can put in fireworks, and this is the main thing that fire, that uh, mob heads are useful for, it appears, it seems to me, is, is for... Is it up there? Is for... Is this library? Uh, for fireworks. So if you put a, a mob head in a firework uh, charge, it uh, it creates like a creeper head in the sky, which is kind of cool. Okay, I don't know where you put this. Oh, uh, here it is. Mop heads. So, he made a little uh, trophy room <laughs> for the mop heads, which I think is really funny. So he's got the creeper and a skeleton. I don't have a zombie yet. Um, I have to. I have to work out that. And why doesn't he have a? Uh, well, he's got a wither skeleton here. What order are these in? Don't know. I'll have to ask him. Um, yeah, so I need to add the, the zombie one, but the zombie one's a little complicated because the zombie has rare drops, and I haven't been able to find an example that somebody put out of here's what the, the regular vanilla zombie loot table looks like. Which is a little frustrating. But, anyway. I think the polar bears are super cute. So that's just cool. He's been he's been busy running around trying to collect all the different mob heads. I gave him a pigman mob head right here from the gold farm, um, and we got blazes working. I had some trouble with the blazes because I don't have one myself yet. They're kind of cool. They look like a little race helmet or something. Um, I, and and this is my favorite one. Um, the uh, the snowman. I have one of those. Of course, you have to actually kill the mob in order to get the uh, the head. So, I, I don't even want to know where he found villagers to kill in order to get the villager mob head. And of course, he's got horses, and he's got a donkey. This is donkey or cow? That might be the cow. Oh, he may not have a donkey. Anyway... So we did initially, I didn't have luck with the blazes because in, uh, although I got a blaze farm, um, the it turns out that the, the loot tables are applied in Spigot. They're applied on a per dimension basis. So you have to have a set copy of the loot tables in the, in the nether and in the end for mobs in those dimensions to drop their stuff, which, uh, yeah. So I, I'm still learning about how, how the Spigot thing works. So anyway, uh, and because we are running spigot when 1.12 comes out, I won't be able to update immediately. And what I'm, ho I'm hoping that, uh, that spigot, the spigot project updates as quickly as they did for one dot, I think one dot 10, they released the update for spigot pretty, pretty quickly. Um, cause they were working on it while the snapshots were coming out. And since their snapshots are on pre-release. Oh, I just triggered the fireworks. There we go. It's lots of fireworks show. There we go. Anyway, so he's got this little tripwire set up here. Oops. Um, so yeah, uh, the code should the the functionality of 1.12 should be pretty much frozen, meaning 
that you'll still be able to shoot your dog in the back of your boat in 1.12. But we will get terracotta, which is going to be cool. We'll get the concrete powder. Uh, we'll get more choices. So that's that's pretty nice. I wonder if I should do something to light up the library so it looks a little bit better at night. Huh. Oh, that's a good question. Maybe I can bury some lights up in the roof. I've got carpet up there now on the roof. So it's super plain. I just mostly wanted to avoid having the mobs uh, spawning up there. Maybe I'll put a few sea lanterns or something around the top and put carpet on top of them so they don't you don't see them, but they provide a little light. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. So here we are at the library, the community library. And I didn't have as many enchanted books as I thought. So this is what I did on the inside. It's not super awesome, but we got a couple enchanting tables with full full enchanting table setups. I've got some lapis and books for people to use. Um, and I've got books. And I need to see if I think I put books in here that I meant to keep back for myself. Um, because I need to, I still need to remake my axe. This is kind of a joke book because you can't actually put this on anything. It's got too much on it, unfortunately. Maybe not. I had a mending, I'm breaking three. Here's an unbreaking three. Let's take that. Uh, silk touch. Not that these books are expensive, just I need, I need to remake this. So I need efficiency five. Oh, no mending. Somebody may have already snagged that one. And I put I put little boxes here for donations. Okay. So there we go. All right, well I've got some uh I've got some work to do. I don't have I don't have an enchanting table in here. I don't have a Oh, I don't have an anvil in here. That would be super useful, wouldn't it? I should put an anvil. Let me go get some iron. Woohoo! Okay. Iron farm is out this way. Should be a quick and easy little trip. Not too much is new out here. Um, oh, uh, Pete and Smash Masher have done some cool work down in... I. I think you may have seen, I may have shown this. Uh, they've done some cool work down in the stronghold near, so that's the iron farm there, uh, down near the uh, the end gateway, which is cool. Um, so they've, they've developed that a little bit, which is awesome because that's right near where they built their place. Whoa, you saw that guy falling, didn't you? Nice. Huh. Hi guys. Uh, there's a little bit of iron here. That'll work. Take all that. Okay, let's get out of here. So anyway, I don't think I have too much else to show you. Finish the library. That was the that was the biggest thing that I've done recently. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, if everything goes to plan, I should have started the episode with a little clip, uh, reading a comment. Uh, somebody complaining about my opening intro music, which is fine. You can dislike it all you want. Uh, I don't. I don't really care. But the the thing is, I like my intro music. And I recorded a whole thing kind of showing how I made it and all that good stuff. But um, I don't... Uh, well, let's go back downstairs. Let's take care of this first. Um, I like my intro music. <laughs> and people complain... I get some people liking it. And I get some people disliking it. Which is fine. Uh, but the thing is, when people dislike it. When they say, oh, your music, your intro music is annoying. Or whatever the case may happen to be. Um... They don't, uh, 
they usually aren't able to elaborate on what they find annoying about it. And honestly, if there was some little thing that I could tweak about it, like I suspect I know what it is that people dislike about it the most. And that it's, oh, actually, there's a crafting table right here. What am I doing? I put them in the corners. Uh, oh, it would be sitting underneath there. Uh, I have a feeling that the people who dislike the intro music the most are A, they're young and they have very good hearing, and B, they're listening on headphones that have very good bass response. Like they, they went and bought, you know, like Beats headphones or whatever, and that's what they're listening on. But people don't, uh, people don't, when I, I usually, when somebody posts something like that, I ask what it is that they dislike about it, and then I ask, you know, roughly how old they are, and, and, uh, then, uh, you know, what, how they listen to the, to the, the, how they listen to their, their videos, and they, no one ever responds. It's a little, a little frustrating, but, uh, I, I have a feeling that, as I said, my guess is that they're listening on headphones that are, that are excessively bassy, like Beats headphones, for instance, or, they are um, not, um, and, they're, and they're probably young. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what the situation is. But no one ever responds to my questions and tells me. Uh, so I have started, does that look good? Yeah, it looks okay. Not great, but it looks okay. Uh, so I've started asking people that uh, and I have also started because I think what it, I think it is really just it's a little too basic. There's uh, there it's mostly pure sine waves, and it is I have some bass frequencies in there that are are a bit heavy, and so my guess is uh, you know low frequency audio is. Very, most sort of it contains the most sort of power um and so if you've got headphones on and you're pumping low frequency stuff right into your eardrums uh, i could see it being a little bit disturbing so i've started knocking down the bass a little bit on the intro music so hopefully that that helps and that people aren't just complaining about the fact that it's kind of random random sounds uh because the random sounds part of it is what i like about it and that that's not going to change Unless I come up with another, uh, unless I compose another piece of music, uh, which will also likely be random, random sounds or random notes, because that's the kind of music I like making, and that's uh, that's pretty much the way it's going to be. So, complaining about things just by saying "Oh, you suck" or "You know, your intro sucks" or whatever the case, not the most useful thing in the world, uh, unless you can sort of explain a little bit what it is because if you just complain about it just saying oh it sucks not exactly constructive but i have a feeling that you're not trying to be constructive either um so uh, if you if you're just trying to be if you're just saying oh your intro sucks then you're just being a troll and nobody likes a troll and you may think it's funny you may think you're being clever you may think you're being cool whatever uh you're just being annoying and that's pretty much all it is. So if the only point of complaining about something for the most part is really to try and make it better. And so if you can say, oh my God, I have to, my eardrums are gonna blow out or whatever, you know, the, the low frequency stuff is really annoys me. That's actually kind of constructive. And given that I can maybe try and do something about it. Uh, so I don't mind trying to uh, trying to improve things, but I'm not exactly uh, keen on just taking destructive criticism. I will just ignore it, or I'll make fun of it, or whatever. But that's that. So anyway, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I tried to record a video going over how I made the music and all that, and it didn't turn out super awesome. So I'm not going to use it, but uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, if you're going to complain about something on the internet, uh, it, it, you know, try to be, try to be constructive about it. <laughs> try to explain what it is you're, why you're complaining. Otherwise it's just going to be, 
uh, no one's, it's just going to be a pain and nobody's going to care. Yep. Pretty much. That's it. Okay. Thank you for watching. And this is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party and I will see you next time. All right. Bye. So just a little follow up since I ended the episode and, and I took care of this and it went quicker than I expected. Here's what it looks like with a little lighting around the inside there up top and carpets covering it so you can't actually see the lights. Kind of gives it a little definition at night, which is nice. And yeah, let's go on the inside. It did something kind of cool on the inside because up top I'm covering carpets and I liked how it kind of faded up to black on the inside but I put slabs around, so I just put sea lanterns around the perimeter there. And I think this looks really cool. Um, it, it almost looks like there's like really subtle recessed lighting up there. Anyway, so that's how it turns out. Uh, I think this is pretty cool. It's not the greatest build in the world, but you know, it'll serve a purpose and uh, Give me a way to offload some of these books that I've got a ton of because frankly, I you know Don't need all these and other people might find them useful and instead of them going and letting loose my villagers or uh, Accidentally hurting them leaving them locked up whatever they can just come here and pull out books And so I will leave some decent books in here uh, for people to be able to use if they need um, So I mean, you know Feather Fallen 3, not too bad. Anyway, so there we go. That's it. Um, so I'll say goodbye once again. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. Bye.